yes, the question was about my name. Um, I am the second born from my mother. That's what Tamba means. And um, I'm from the Kisi tribe. Basically, that's the meaning, the second born from the, uh, the mom. The reason I live in uh, America is because we had a civil war for about 15, 16 years. A bunch of us fled the war and got into the Cote d'Ivoire. At that time, we became refugees. My dad was in the country. We got in contact with him. He was able to come back, file for us, for, for us to get our visas and get to the U.S. And that's how I, you know, I became a, a U.S. citizen. At one point, uh, 1989, the war started. Around that time, you, um, you know, everyone was going into hiding. I remember vividly at that time, airplane flying around our, our city, Banga, at the time I was living in Banga, and airplane flying around our, our city, you know, shooting us, and we're going into hiding. Every, every six months we'll come out and the war will start again. So that got kind of tiring. Mom and, and uh, stepdad, brother, we, they all got together and uh, they thought it was a great idea for us to flee, get to the border. We was able to get to um, Ivory Coast. Um, the, the reason I even do music is because I grew up in the church um, and it was like first love. It's the first thing I kind of knew while growing up singing in the choir. Um, it was, you know, I enjoyed doing it. It came effortless. When I got to the U.S., though, my stepbrother had left all his uh, mixtapes. So at that time, I was listening to rap. I got hipped on rap. Um, but I played the drums in the church. I, I, you know, I played the bongos in the church. And, you know, that's that's how I, I pretty much became, started doing music. Of course, um, you know, it's, it's something that I learned at a young age. So it, it never left me. Um, I could play the drums. The drums I'm talking about, though, is the one I play with the hand. Is the bongos. Um, as far as the drum with the stick, that's not something I grew up doing. Um, but I did pick it up a little bit in the church that I, I used to go to in Hackensack, New Jersey at the time. Right now, where I'm at, it's about 80-90% music. I spend most of my days uh, working on some kind of music, some kind of beat, some kind of track, some, some kind of writing. Um, Football, my, I don't, I'm not saying I wouldn't play, but I just don't have the drive as I used to. So I, I couldn't give it uh, the 80% the, the that I'm, I used to give it. So before I would give it 80, 90, 100% at times to play football because it, it was during that time I was playing. Um, and it, anything you do, if you're gonna really do it, you gotta put your all in it. You can't really split your time. So. In this time, I can't really split my time with football. So between those two, I want to say uh, music has been my, my love. And um, yeah. Love and Lights. Um, beautiful album. Uh, Mastercraft and I worked on it for over maybe a year or so. Um, when we had time, we, you know, we, we did it. Uh, the difference between Love and Lights and, and Tamba Juice. Tamba Juice catered more towards the Afrobeat. Uh, scene, it was, you know, Afrobeat was just coming on the scene and it gave all of us Africans kind of outlet to be able to do music um, because it's hard for us to fit in, in in a culture where people are, you know, scrutinizing Africans, but, you know, again, whether you're black or not, you're African. Love and Lights kind of give you a diversity, uh, shows you how big of an artist that I am in a sense of I'm able to rap, I'm able to sing, I'm able to do music in the time that we're in. So yeah, it, it kind of gives you that split personality where you're like, wow, I didn't expect this from him. I didn't expect that from him. Prelumia Records uh, been around since 2011. Um, at the time I signed Gilly the Kid, signed Stars, uh, another act from Baltimore, an act from, uh, Gilly is from Philadelphia. Um, his story is, is huge. He has a you know a huge history on, on music, um, and um, yeah, the label worked through them because at the time I was playing football, I couldn't do too much with music. Uh, Mastercraft, I was blessed to have him through a relationship I had with a, a manager that I had working, I was working with at the time, uh, Jay Biz, and then um, he was able to hook us up. Uh, through his uh, relationship with Flavor. We, Flavor and I had a song that we were gonna work on. We actually worked on that song and 
Mastercraft was the one that produced the song. So over time, Mastercraft and I, we just kind of linked up and we always worked together and it seemed like a perfect fit. And uh, since then, things has, has really progressed and you know, we've kept this relationship going. And, uh, and that's, you know, that's how it works. Final, um, nice song. Um, we, we didn't intend much for it. We actually wanted a feature on the song, but we didn't. Um, so we just kind of saw the song. It was half done. We saw it as a uh, as an intro and a way to uh, open up Love and Lights, the, the EP. And, you know, we're kind of happy that people, you know, it's taking a half song. And, and running with it because you know it's not much we did on it except a uh, chorus and a verse and uh, it seems like it worked and we're pleased to see that it's it's having its time i'll encourage people to take a trip to liberia for sure it's a beautiful country it's on the coast we have some resorts down there we have beautiful hotels we have royal we have boulevard we have um Millennium, we, uh, Corina Hotel. So we have some really beautiful hotels that people can stay in. We, ha uh, we have uh, Nana Lodge, uh, places you can go visit that's a little off uh, the, the, uh, the scene, uh, uh, I would say, in the city. So Nana Lodge is kind of off a little bit, but Liberia is a beautiful country. If anyone really looking to spend some time away from a lot of people and want to get to see scenic places, uh, go to um, places like um, the uh, Patawi uh, Riverfall. Um, we have a huge riverfall that's coming down in Liberia. We have a rainforest, um, places you can go see animals, monkeys. I mean, it's so beautiful. I encourage people to go. We have a huge music scene. Um, you're looking at uh, an emerging place for music. Uh, in the near future, um, one of the best promoters you can possibly have in the area. His name is Double H. You know, we encourage people to, if they want to be in Liberia and having fun, these are the the big acts that you have to, you know, get familiar with to understand. Yes, it's your boy Tamba Hali. I'm coming to you live. Um, shout out to Africa. Promo music, promotional music. We out here repping. Um, people are all over the country that just helping make sure that we move in um, love and lights is already out right now how much you out if you guys want to you know, go out and check it uh, got, got some music dropping right now we have davero um from liberia uh, featuring me on her, one, of, one of her songs that's dropping pills the diva Shout out to Pills, for real. She got a heavy, heavy banger. Heavy banger coming out right now. You guys better be checking out her Instagram and whatnot. And to my beautiful wife for always holding me down and taping these things for us so we can get it out to the public. You